from asteroids to great floods to volcanoes to plagues to zombies. The end of the world has been predicted thousands of times, and thousands of times those predictions have been wrong. Every one of us gets a finite amount of time in this life. And in the grand scheme of things, the time we get to spend here is less than the blink of an eye. So how we choose to spend our time is very important. Sadly, some of us spend our time predicting the end of the world and these apocalyptic events, living in fear for our entire being. Throughout human history, we see example after example of false prophets and charlatans predicting the end of the world. The fear-filled apocalyptic events fueling hysteria for centuries. In today's Zedgementary, we are going to look at a few of these failed predictions about the end of the world and the hysteria surrounding those predictions. 1806 In 1806, a domesticated hen in Leeds, England appeared to lay eggs inscribed with the message, Christ is coming. Thousands of people reportedly visited the hen and began to despair of the coming judgment day. Huge numbers of people turned up to see the prophetic egg, and she charged onlookers a penny to view the eggs. It was soon discovered, however, that the eggs were not in fact prophetic messages and the end times were not coming. But it was the work of their owner, Mary Bateman, who had been writing on the eggs in corrosive ink and reinserting them into the hen's body. The hen hoax led fellow townspeople to start prepping for the end of the world, causing hysteria. She was soon after exposed as a fraud, and the chickens were then sold. She was found guilty of causing the hysteria and later hung, forever known as the Yorkshire Witch. 1910 Halley's Comet passes by Earth about every 76 years. But the close proximity of its approach in 1910 created fear that it would destroy the planet. Either by celestial collision or through cyanide gas it was rumored to contain. A worldwide pandemic ensued, stoked by the media and such newspaper headlines as Comet may kill all Earth life, says scientist Camille Flammarion. A group in Oklahoma tried to sacrifice a virgin to ward off impending doom, and bottled air became a hot commodity. People sealed up their homes and were duped by grifters into buying sugar pills sold as anti-comet pills. The Earth was close to passing through part of the comet's tail, but with no apparent effect. The comet has made one visit since in 1986 and will come again July 28, 2061. 1974. In 1974, John Gribben and Stephen Plegman wrote a best-selling book called The Jupiter Effect, warning that in March 1982, an alignment of the major planets on the same side of the sun would trigger a series of cosmic events, culminating in an earthquake along the San Andreas Fault that would wipe out Los Angeles. The book had a perception of credibility, since both authors were Cambridge-educated astrophysicist, and Gribben was an editor at the prestigious science magazine Nature. The science claimed that the combined gravitational force of the planets, especially dense ones such as Jupiter and Saturn, would exert tidal forces on the sun, causing an increase in sunspot activity that would douse the earth with high-speed particles which, in turn, would cause abrupt changes to our planet's rotation, leading to earthquakes. Several scientists criticized the Jupiter effect, saying its argument was based on a tissue-thin chain of suppositions. Seismologist Charles Richter of Caltech called the thesis pure astrology in disguise. Still, the book spooked people worldwide, thanks in part to the endorsements of other doomsayers, such as Hal Lindsey, author of the best-selling 1970s book The Late Great Planet Earth, who, in 1980, wrote that earthquakes across the planet would trigger meltdowns at nuclear power plants and would smash dams, causing massive floods. As the dreaded day approached, panicked city residents bombarded Los Angeles Griffith Observatory with phone calls, 
Elsewhere, the San Diego Vista Press reported on March 10th, 1982, we've literally had people ask, should I sell my house and move away? Said Kevin Atkins of Gates Planetarium in Denver, Colorado. One small Christian sect in the Philippines is building a maze of padded cubicles and trying out padded suits in readiness for disasters. Even Beijing's newspaper, The People's Daily, sought to assure readers that there is no regular cause-effect relation at all between this astronomical phenomenon and natural disasters like earthquakes. One year after the non-doomsday events, Gribben and Plagman published The Jupiter Effect Reconsidered. Sadly, it was also a bestseller. 1978 In this video of failed apocalyptic events, we only included a handful of religious zealots and cultists predicting the end of the world. If we included all of them, we'd have thousands of examples and an entire YouTube channel dedicated to these fear-mongering, manipulative charlatans. That being said, we can't have a list of failed doomsday events without including arguably the most well-known cult to ever exist. That is, the cult of Jonestown. A man named Jim Jones led the People's Temple, a new religious movement, between 1955 and 1978. Beginning in the late 1960s, reports of abuse began to surface as Jones became increasingly vocal in his rejection of traditional Christianity and began promoting a form of communism he called apostolic socialism and making claims of his own divinity. Jones became progressively more controlling of his followers in People's Temple, which at its peak had over 3,000 members. Jones's followers engaged in a communal lifestyle in which many turned over all of their income and property to Jones and People's Temple, who directed all aspects of community life. Jones claimed he was a messiah sent to save people. He taught his followers the only way to escape the supposed imminent catastrophe was to accept his teachings and that after the apocalypse was over, they would emerge to establish a perfect communist society. In 1978 in Guyana, where Jones moved his cult after all the negative publicity in California, his doomsday predictions came to a hedge when his team murdered a sitting U.S. congressman and Jones convinced his following to drink the Kool-Aid because the end was there. Sadly, 918 people died as a result of Jones's fear-mongering, and as we all know, the world did not, in fact, end. 1992. Among the most prolific modern predictors of end times, Harold Camping has publicly predicted the end of the world as many as 12 times based on his interpretations of biblical numerology. In 1992, he published a book ominously titled 1994, which predicted the end of the world sometime around that year. Perhaps his most high-profile prediction was for May 21, 2011, a date that he calculated to be exactly 7,000 years after the biblical flood. When that date passed without incident, he declared his math to be off and pushed back the end of the world to October 21st, 2011. He passed away in 2013. How and why people followed his prophecies after 12 failed end of the world predictions, nobody will ever know. 1998 Taiwanese religious leader Han Ming Chen established Chen Tao, or True Way, a religious movement that blended elements of Christianity, Buddhism, UFO conspiracy theories, and Taiwanese folk religion. Chen preached that God would appear on television, Channel 18, on March 25, 1998, to announce that he would descend to Earth the following week in a physical form identical to Chen. The following year, he prophesied, millions of devil spirits, together with massive flooding, would result in a mass extinction of human population. Followers could be spared by buying their way aboard spaceships disguised as clouds sent to rescue them. When the predicted appearance did not occur, the group became confused. The Chen Tao leader announced that he obviously had misunderstood God.
God's plans. And members quietly returned to their homes, one member wrote. Chen offered to be stoned or crucified for the event, but no one took him up on his offer. 2000. The year was 1999, and we were about to enter a new millennium. Amidst the celebration of the turning of the century, a new fear began to grip the world, the Y2K panic. In 1999, it was believed that coding errors in software would wreak havoc across the globe as digital clocks and computers and computer systems ticked over into the new millennium. There was widespread fear that our computer systems, energy grids, and our entire way of life was on the verge of having a catastrophic meltdown that would rip apart society. People started hoarding food and other essential supplies preparing for possible Armageddon. The clock struck midnight and all of that panic was for nothing. December 21st, 2012. This now infamous date marked the end of the first great cycle of the Mayan Long Count Calendar. Many misinterpreted this to mean an absolute end to the calendar, which tracked time continuously from a date 5,125 years earlier, and doomsday predictions emerged. End of the world scenarios included the Earth colliding with a planet called Nibiru, giant solar flares, a planetary alignment that would cause massive tidal catastrophes, and a realignment of Earth's axis. Preparations for the end of the world as we know it included a modern-day Noah's Ark built by a man in China and extensive sales of survival kits. A full-blown pandemic of fear gripped the world. While the end of the world did not come to fruition, the charlatans simply claimed the calendar was inaccurate and the true date of end times is still on the way. Future Predictions The Large Hadron Collider Ever since the early 1990s, the media has reported that the Large Hadron Collider could potentially create a black hole that would swallow the Earth. The Hadron Collider, which was switched on in September 2008, is 17 miles in circumference and buried 570 feet beneath the Alps on the Swiss-French border. The collider has the capacity to smash together proton beams at velocities up to 99.99% of the speed of light. In doing so, it can simulate the conditions and energies that existed shortly before the start of the Big Bang, thereby providing insights into critical questions as to how the universe was formed. Still, some skeptics worry that the high-energy collision of protons could create micro-black holes one reason this doomsday rumor persists is that quantum physicists have a tendency never to say never. As long as certain physical laws are obeyed, potential events are placed in the rather broad category of non-zero probability. Or, as Amherst physicist Kanan Jaganathan explains, if something is not forbidden, it is compulsory. In an infinite universe, even things of low probability must occur actually infinitely often. However, by that same standard, Jaganathan adds quantum physics dictates that it is theoretically possible to turn on your kitchen faucet and have a dragon pop out. And that explains why physicists are not terribly worried. The world is constantly bombarded by energetic cosmic rays from the depths of space, some of them inducing particle collisions thousands of times more powerful than those that will be produced by the Hadron Collider, says Stephen Cotu, a professor of physics at Penn State. If these collisions could create black holes, it would have happened by now. 2029. An asteroid by the name of Apophis, which is the name of the Egyptian deity who embodied chaos, is supposed to pass near Earth on April 13th, 2029. Some have prophesized that Apophis will in fact hit Earth and end the world as we know it. But we know with almost 100% certainty that this won't happen. Sadly, the fear mongers will be out there pushing this hysteria and likely profiting off of it, as they always will. 
We don't know when or how the Earth will end. It could be tomorrow. It could be one million years from now. It could be by nuclear war, by a giant volcano, or something else. One thing is for sure. The end will come for all of us one day. That is a fact. And the chances are it won't be because of an apocalyptic event either. Would you rather live your life in fear or do what you can with the little time you have to make this time we have worthwhile? For more interesting stories and information, please subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Much more is on the way.